We begin in London, where the process for Britain to leave the European Union in just a few months has taken another step forward. A cabinet meeting that went way over time has approved a draft deal reached with EU negotiators. The Prime Minister had to overcome strong opposition in the cabinet before she could make a statement outside 10 Downing Street. I firmly believe that the draft withdrawal agreement was the best that could be negotiated and it was for the cabinet to decide whether to move on in the talks. The choices before us were difficult, particularly in relation to the Northern Ireland backstop. But the collective decision of cabinet was that the government should agree the draft withdrawal agreement and the outline political declaration. This is a decisive step which enables us to move on and finalise the deal in the days ahead. These decisions were not taken lightly, but I believe it is a decision that is firmly in the national interest. When you strip away the detail, the choice before us is clear. This deal, which delivers on the vote of the referendum, which brings back control of our money, laws and borders, ends free movement, protects jobs, security and our union, or leave with no deal or, le or no Brexit at all. I know that there will be difficult days ahead. Uh, this is a decision which will come under intense scrutiny and that is entirely as it should be and entirely understandable. But the choice was this deal which enables us to take back control and to build a brighter future for our country or going back to square one with more division, more uncertainty and a failure to deliver on the referendum. The CBC's Thomas Degg takes us through the background to this decision and what happens next. British Prime Minister Theresa May met with her cabinet ministers today at 10 Downing Street with one big challenge, to convince them that her deal is the best Brexit deal for Britain. The main issue for hard Brexiteers is the reported proposal within this deal to keep all of the United Kingdom in a temporary customs arrangement with the European Union, meaning this country will likely be bound by European regulations for months or years after Brexit. Now, the agreement faced plenty of pushback from conservative backbenchers, but this evening May emerged from a five-hour cabinet meeting. She spoke for just two minutes to say she's cleared this latest hurdle. She did get the backing of her cabinet. But the collective decision of cabinet was that the government should agree the draft withdrawal agreement and the outline political declaration. Now, May plans to make a statement to Parliament tomorrow. She knows that is the next challenge for her, getting enough votes from her Tory party and the opposition for this EU withdrawal agreement to be finalized in time for Brexit Day next March. There is still plenty of anger among Conservative MPs, with some calling for a leadership challenge. The hardest Brexit supporters say this deal doesn't deliver the Brexit they voted for. The civil war within her party isn't over, but for the Prime Minister right now, this is one battle that she has won. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.